Hi, my name is Lauren Singer, and I did my lesson plan with pre-K students, and I did it on habitats and what types of animals live in specific habitats. And the academic standard that I used was consistency and change, describing changes that occur um, within a habitat. Uh, in this lesson, we pretty much just go over what habitats are and what types of animals live in these habitats um, through a short PowerPoint presentation filled with lots of visuals. And then I have the students also create their own drawings of what their favorite animal is and draw the environment that that animal lives in. And the game finishes up with the teacher assigning animals to each student and they go around the room to designated areas that are a specific home or habitat of that animal and they have to go to that spot once the animal is called and they get three chances to be wrong. And that was the lesson. Good morning boys and girls. Good morning Miss Lauren. Okay so today we're going to talk about different animals and where these different animals live, what their homes are like and how different they are. So first I'm going to ask you what your favorite animal is. Brooke, can you tell me what your favorite animal is? A uh, dolphin. A dolphin? And what kind of place does a dolphin live in? Does it live in mm, the forest? Does it live like in your backyard? No, it doesn't live there. Can you tell me where you think it may live? In the water. Very good, in the water. And that's going to be the first type of home of an animal we're going to talk about, the ocean. Erica, can you tell me what other types of animals may live in the ocean? Um, like fish? Yes, very good. Now, what's your favorite animal, Erica? My favorite animal is a lizard. A lizard? Do you have a pet lizard? No, but I, I think they live in, like, places are, that are really sandy. Very good, and that's actually called the desert. And that is very dry and very hot. And animals like a lizard live there. Not very many animals live there. Um, okay, so what else do you guys know about the jungle? Uh, I think it's like really hot in there. Yeah, very good. There's a lot of animals. There's a lot of animals that live in the jungle. And there's also a lot of rain and a lot of plants in the jungle too. Um, so now I'm going to give each of you kids a piece of paper and I want you to draw a picture of your favorite animal, your favorite animal, and draw where it lives too. And you'll notice during this activity that your animals that each of you are drawing live in different places. And we're going to talk about these places more in depth in the PowerPoint that I'm going to show you. Miss Lauren, I have a question. Yes? What else should I add? Mine's a lizard. I have some cacti. Should I add Wow, that's else? a very good drawing, Erica. Well, can you think of any other animals that may live in the desert? Mm -hmm. Do snakes live in the desert? Yeah, snakes. Maybe some scary spiders. Oh, okay. That's a very good drawing of the sun. Thank you. Nice job, Brooke. <laughs> A very good dolphin. He seems super happy. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, while you guys are working on your drawings, we're going to go over a little bit of the PowerPoint. And there's a lot of really great pictures in here that'll give you some good ideas for your drawings that we'll go over in a couple minutes. All right, so here on the first slide, I have a picture of all three different places we are going to learn about. Now, these places that animals and plants live in are actually called habitats, and that's something that you are going to learn in first grade. But right now, I just wanted to give you a quick introduction to the word habitat. It's another word for a home or a place that an animal lives in. So I have three pictures of different homes of animals on this slide. Can you tell me which one is the desert? Mm, I think this one. Very good. And how about the jungle? Yeah, very good. And the ocean is the last one here. Okay, so the first habitat we're going to talk about is the ocean. And animals that can only live in the water are here. And a lot of animals that live in the water breathe through something called gills, like a shark or a fish. And they breathe through that water. But then there's other animals, like Brooke was drawing, 
like a dolphin that has a blowhole and breathes oxygen has to go up and get their air. So can you think of some examples of animals that live in the ocean? Other than a dolphin. Crabs, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Very good. Anything else? Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Starfish. Starfish. An octopus, a squid, sharks. I think you guys named all of those animals. Very good, boys and girls. And the second habitat we're going to talk about is the desert. Now, some what can you name some characteristics or some things that you think about when you hear desert? One of the things I think about is it being really hot. Very good. You can even use these pictures to help you come up with maybe what the weather is like there or what types of plants live there, how much precipitation is there. It looks very dry and it looks like not a lot of animals live there. Can you tell me what animal is in this middle picture? A camel. Very good. And it looks like there's lots of cacti in this picture, which is exactly what Erica drew in her own picture. Very good. Thanks. <clears throat> Can you tell me some other animals that live in the desert? List some that you drew. I drew a beetle and I drew a snake. Very good, Erica. And you said your favorite animal was a lizard. Yeah. And lizards are from the desert. How about you, Brooke? Can you think of anything that lives in the desert? Um, spiders. Mm-hmm. Very good. Very good. Oh, scorpion. We forgot about scorpion. Okay, and the last habitat we're going to talk about is the jungle, or also called the rainforest. The rainforest is very hot, has lots of plants, and very tall trees because of all of the rain that it gets, which is why it's called the rainforest. Um, it doesn't get very much sunlight, though, because of all of the canopy trees and plants that go over the land. Can you think of any animals that live in these types of areas? A monkey. Very good. A monkey. Brooke? A cheetah. A cheetah. Very good. I think lots of birds live there since there's lots of trees. Very good. And you're going to see a very famous bird right here called a toucan. And elephants live here and many other animals live in the rainforest. All right, boys and girls, for this activity, I'm going to have you point to which animal goes to which habitat. Brooke, I'll have you start with the lizard. Lizard. Desert. Shark. Shark. Hmm. I don't know where it's supposed to go. Now, remember, do sharks have gills? Yeah, so that means they're in the ocean. Yeah, sharks breathe through the water, so they're going to live in the ocean. Okay. Very good, Erica. Thanks. How about a parrot? Um, parrot rainforest? Very good. How about an octopus? Octopus. I think this is another ocean animal. You got another one. Good job, Erica. Elephant rainforest. Nice. And the last one is a snake. That definitely goes to the desert. Very good. All right, boys and girls, for the last activity, there's three areas in the room. This area, you're going to pretend, is the ocean. And in the middle is the jungle. And all the way over here in this corner is the desert. Now, I am going to say an animal out loud. And you are all going to pretend that you are that animal. Picture you being that animal. Where would you live if you were that animal? All right? And then wherever you choose to live, you're going to go to that area. And I'll tell you if you're right or wrong. You get three chances to be wrong. And that's how it's going to go. All right? Okay. Okay. Boys and girls, pretend that you are a big giant elephant. <laughs> Very good. An elephant lives in the jungle with many other animals. Okay, the next animal you are going to be is a 
Pause. I'm trying to think of some hard ones. Oh. The next animal you are going to be is an eel. An electric eel. This is a hard one, probably the hardest one. Good job, boys and girls. An eel lives in the ocean. Now, an eel kind of looks like a snake, and it has a lot of similar characteristics to a snake. So, very good job of not getting it mixed up with the snake that lives in the desert. Good job. An eel lives in the water and breathes under the water, so it is from the ocean. Good job. All righty. Now, boys and girls, pretend that you are a tiger. <laughs> Very imaginative, Erica. Where would a tiger live? Alrighty, and the correct answer is the jungle. Erica, can you tell the class why you chose the jungle instead of the desert, maybe? Mm, I think tigers, well, I just never seen tigers pictured in the desert, and whenever I went to the zoo, I saw them like in the setting of a jungle before. Very good. Now, Brooke, I think that a tiger wouldn't live in the desert because it's very hot and very dry there. So I think that he might have a hard time searching for food and water, so he may die. That's why they live in the jungle. Okay. Good job. Alrighty, last one, boys and girls. The last animal that you're pretending to be is a lizard. Oh, my students are so creative. Alrighty, and you are both correct. A lizard lives in the desert. Why? Because it's hot and sandy for him. Very good. Alrighty, you can go back to your seats now. And you can add anything else you want to for your drawings. And we're going to turn them in at the end of this lesson. So, what have we learned today? We learned that there are different habitats that animals live in. Very good word. And Brooke, can you tell me some things you know about what the word habitat means? Um, it means it's the animal's home and that's where they live. Very good. So we've learned that there's tons of different animals living on our planet. And each animal has its own home and its own way of living. Therefore, they're all going to live in different places, like the ocean, the rainforest, or the desert. Mm. All right, boys and girls, thank you very much for your attention, and I'm going to collect your drawings right now. And that is the end of our lesson on habitat.